Hi everyone, this is Nick Weiner, the Director of Open Initiatives at Octo, showing you how to add a new paper to Markive, the free research repository for the ocean and marine climate sciences. Now you'll notice here that I'm already on the Markive repository on the Open Science Framework. So I'm gonna click Add a Paper here in the center of the screen to start adding my paper. You notice the first thing it does is it asks me to log in with my OSF account. And if I had an ORC ID, I could also just log in with that as well. Uh, if you don't have an OSF account, you can create one for free really quickly by just clicking the Create button right down here at the bottom. Uh, so for now, I'm just going to sign in with my existing Open Science Framework account. <clears throat> and you'll notice the first thing it asks me to do is to upload a paper. So I'm going to click Upload a New Paper, and I'm going to upload a test PDF. It's going to drag and drop that right here into the center. You'll notice as soon as I put the PDF in there, ask me to enter a paper title. Let's say this is a test archive paper. Then when I click save and continue, it'll actually upload that paper to the system then. As soon as that upload completes, it'll take me to the next section, which is to select my discipline. So I'm gonna say that this is under the social behavioral sciences and environmental studies. Might add it under marine biology as well. Now let's say I don't want to add it under marine biology. Just click the little X there and I'll get rid of it and click save and continue. Now if I want to go back and make changes at any time, I can just go back and click to edit and you'll notice it brings right back up the discipline again. So in this basics category then, it's going to ask you first to choose a license. So by default, we use a Creative Commons by attribution license. You can also select no license. This is common for reports where the copyright might be to your organization. So you can just put in, make sure the year is correct here, and then the copyright holder would be your organization. Or you can select other if your document is already licensed on the document itself. Uh, so for this, I'm just gonna use the default license. You'll notice here it also asks to apply this license to my OSF project. So once I upload a paper to Markive, you get a project created in the Open Science Framework for that paper as well. And with that project, you can upload supplementary information, like data sets, GIS files, figures, images, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so you can apply the license to the OSF project as well, which I'm gonna do. <clears throat> now it asks here for my peer-reviewed publication DOI. So if this was a paper that it was submitting to a journal or had already submitted to a journal and had already be ex been accepted for publication and that paper was given a DOI by the journal publisher, I would put that DOI here in this field, and that would make sure that the metadata for the project is linked up to the version of record or your final peer-reviewed publication, which just helps to make sure that all your citations stay consistent. Uh, I can also pop in keywords down here. So I might just type in marine protected areas and just click enter on your keyboard after each one of those. I do MPAs as well. And if you wanna get rid of any of these, again, you just click the little X next to it. And lastly, it's gonna ask me for my abstract in this category. So I'm just gonna type in, this is my awesome abstract for now, and then click save and continue. <clears throat> so the last step it's gonna ask for are authors. So if you search by name here, it's gonna search for authors that have an account in the Open Science Framework. So I'm just gonna search here for John Davis for a test. And John doesn't have a user account, so I'm gonna go ahead and add him by his email address. So I'll just type in here, John Davis, and I'll tape his email address here at the bottom and click add. And you'll notice that it says that they'll notify John of this paper. So as soon as I save this paper, John will automatically get an email from the Center for Open Science telling him that this paper has been added. And you'll notice that the default permissions it gives grant or it grants John on this project are read and write permissions. Uh, that allows him to see the paper uh, here on the back end and edit the paper as well. Uh, you can also just give them read permissions if you wanna make sure that no one accidentally edits any of the information you put in. You could also make them an administrator on the project as well. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave everybody on the default read and write. You can also drag and drop the order of authors here. And you'll also notice that there's the citation button. So if you hover over that, it basically tells you that you can uncheck an author, and that means that that author will not appear as a citation. So if you are uploading a paper on behalf of somebody else, 
you can just make sure to uncheck the citation next to your name and you won't be listed as an author on the paper. And then when all is said and done, you would just click create paper and the paper would be immediately publicly accessible in archive right away. Uh, so you'll notice that with Markive, we use post moderation. So that means that after your paper has been publicly shared on Markive, we'll review it and we'll make a decision to either accept or reject the paper. Um, but whether we accept it or not, right away, your paper is still publicly accessible by everyone. So you don't have to wait for us to approve your paper before you start uh, telling people about the paper in Markive. Generally speaking, we're not going to reject anything unless there are serious issues with the paper. We'll reach out to you if you, there's any like small changes and stuff like that, uh, rather than rejecting the paper right away. Uh, the main things that we're looking for is to make sure that all the metadata for the paper is correct and that the paper isn't shared illegally and that the paper isn't spam or some obvious um, you know, evidence of academic misconduct. Um, but since this is a test, I'm not going to click Create Paper because it'll make the paper publicly accessible. So I'm just going to click Cancel from here on out. And that is as quick and easy as it is. Thanks.